to today's Legal Search graduation for the sixth year and LCA class of 2021. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank everybody who was involved in getting today's graduation ceremony together. Ms. Brown, Ms. Hayes, Mr. Cahasi, Ms. Clune, uh, Ms. Donahue, Mr. McNamara, and Glenn, the SNA as well. Um, I know there's a significant amount of work put in place, so well done to everybody that was involved in this. I suppose first off, first off lads, congratulations to all the Legal Search students and the LCA students who are finishing up with us here now in 2021. I'd like to con congratulate all of you for you know the work you've done over the last five to six years when you've been with us inside in the school. Uh, it's a very important day for you. You know It's the, the end of your second level education. Uh, we have a few busy weeks ahead of you as well for the lads that are doing exams. And I suppose over the coming weeks and months, you're going to be progressing into university or college, or you might be going into an apprenticeship, or you might be going into the world of work. So we wish you the best in whichever route you're going to take. And we wish you every success uh, in whatever aspect you're going to take in, in life. I suppose, you know, if there's a few little bits of advice I can offer, and look, I, I, I won't throw it on, but I suppose the first thing I'd say that is be proud of yourselves and be proud of where you're from, because all of us here inside and Sexton Street are very proud of you. Secondly, I think, you know, manners and, and respect are two things. If you show people in life, lads, you'll get paid back a thousand times for it. So if there's anything I could say, treat people with manners and respect, and you'll get that back. 
I suppose on behalf of yourselves, the students, the six years on the LCA lads, I'd like to thank all, all the teaching staff, the SNA and the ancillary staff for all the work they've done with you over the time you've been in Cloche de Fahil. It's It's been a strange senior cycle for you because you know, you are the lockdown class, you had lockdown in fifth year and sixth year. So there was a massive amount of work put in place by all your teachers to ensure that even when you weren't in the school building, that there was still teaching and learning going on for you. So I'd like to pay a special tribute to all your teachers, the SNAs and all the ancillary staff for, for the work they've done in that time. Um, finally, lads, I suppose, you know, just to wish you every, every success in, in life I know this isn't probably the graduation ceremony that you envisioned. Uh, you won't get the chance to get suited and booted and have the big night out. But look, touch wood, we will have a chance later, maybe in the autumn, to have a, a proper ceremony and and we can you know shake hands uh, in a COVID manner and you know see how you're progressing in life. So for the moment, uh, all the best. It's been great to know you. It's been our privilege to know you, and we wish you every success in life. Thank you. Lieber Gott, wir beten für die Weltliche, dass wir unseren Teil dazu beitragen, das Evangelium in der ganzen Welt zu erkunden, durch das Zeugnis des Dienstes und der Liebe. Segne Papst Franziskus und Bischof Levi. Gib ihnen das Herz und den Willen, das Evangelium zu lernen, wie Jesus es gelernt hat, im Geist der Liebe und des Mitgefühls. We pray for frontline workers and their families at this exceptionally challenging time for humanity. We pray that medical staff will continue to be enabled to use their gifts and skills to help those most in need. Lord, hear us. I hear now. We need our son, our mentor. Golanig Shia der Oig, Ek Tort Takirta, Agus Spragig Darn Adalti, Akir Na Eschlin. Dragi Bože, molimo te za mir u svijetu, za mir među ljudima različitih nacija, religija i rasa. Pomozi nam da budemo tolerantni i strpljivi jedni sa drugima, te da donosimo mir u naše domove, škole i u lokalnu zajednicu. Lord Hiras. Senior, kad je ed sve ki so malad, te du sve ki so tuše pala druge te COVID-19. Nous implorons Dieu qu'il ait une guérison rapide. Nous prions également pour les familles pendant cette période difficile. Lord Harris. Modlitwa za zmarłych. Boże Ojcze Wszechmogący, przyjmij naszą modlitwę za wszystkich zmarłych należących do naszej wspólnoty szkolnej. Byłych absolwentów, gronu nauczycielskie, krewnych, przyjaciół oraz tych wszystkich, których spotkały z tą szkołą. Niechaj ich rodziny oraz przyjaciele znajdą pocieszenie w otaczających ich braciach i siostrach w Chrystusie oraz Twojej wiecznej miłości. Ciebie prosimy, wysłuchaj nas Panie. the future. I hope the exams go well for you. I know it's been a tough lead into your exams, but all I know is I always enjoyed being in and out of your schools between the staff and yourselves. There's something really good at play at the heart of you. So I hope you trust in that and I hope the future will be bright for you. And I'll just leave you with an exam prayer that we might pray for you and as you face into exams. And it says, God, stay close to me today guide my study and light my way. Ease my nerves and comfort me with peace and love so tenderly. May I remember the things I need and understand all I study and read. And may I strive to give my best and do myself justice in each test. May the topics I know and like appear and may your touch ease my fear. And in those moments that I may feel stressed, remind me, Lord, of the ways I'm blessed. And if there are times that I feel at sea, help me to trust that you're here with me. Amen. So best of luck and remember exams can never measure your value or worth. Wishing you every blessing and joy and 
lots of adventure in your future. God bless. Bye. Congratulations on your graduation day, class of 2021. We look at you and wonder where the years have gone. You've grown into fine young men from the boys we once knew starting your journey here. You've done the work in challenging times and tried really hard to do your best. The years of study have finally ended. You have faced obstacles with courage and learned life's lessons in style. You have added another milestone on the road to success as the doors of opportunity swing open wide for you. Stand tall with a great sense of pride and feel every ounce of your accomplishment. May you find new roads to success. All of us wish you the best as you venture on your way with pride. No matter which road you choose, no matter how long it may seem, let your heart be your guide along the way. If you want to fulfill your dreams, no matter the detours, the roadblocks or the dark nights, continue your heart's desire. Lift up your torch and don't be afraid to set the world on fire. You are the light of a new day, shine for all to see. Carry your knowledge from this day forward, blaze a trail for history. No one will ever be quite like you. Remember this important truth. We all have a purpose in this life and it begins in our youth. Who you are now, who you will become is determined by your soul. And with your dreams in your heart to lead you the way, you can conquer any goal. Congratulations on this day. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road 
Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. You came to CBS as excited 12 and 13 year olds and I've watched you grow into mature young adults, ready to begin the next phase of your lives. Some of you will go on to college, others will begin their working careers. And some of you may spend some time deciding what it is you want to do before making that final decision. But I think collectively we could never have imagined that fifth and sixth year would play out as it did. You have dealt with the challenges of the last 15 months with acceptance and courage and shown a positive example to the younger cohorts in the school. These are exceptional qualities, which will stand you in good stead in the next part of your life. It may not seem like it now, but you will have amazing stories to tell in the future of going to school during a pandemic. There will also come a time when we can all celebrate these events again and I'm sure you will make up for lost time. I think we can focus on the negative of all this or we can choose to be grateful for the positive. So be grateful for your families, your loved ones and your circle of friends. The friends you've made in CBS should never be forgotten. It is so easy in this current climate to take the good things in life for granted. So be positive about the next phase of your life and believe in yourselves. Remember, each of you have precious qualities individual to yourself and the potential to contribute greatly to life. Make a wonderful life and only allow people who respect, love and want you to succeed to have an influence in your life.
and remember to always be the best version of yourself. Life can be challenging at times and trust me no one is immune to these challenges but it is how you deal with these challenges and how you treat people in life that will shape you as a person and your character. I hope we as a school have had a hand in teaching you this. As your year ahead we've had a few moments over the last five years. Sometimes it was multicoloured shoes or strange coloured unrecognisable parts of the uniform. Mobile phones that magically appeared under the tables or homework which had a terrible habit of never getting finished. But overall I would hope that I treated you all fairly and sometimes with a bit of humour and you have good memories of your five years in CBS. Though I have to say my last memory of your group will be the wine tracksuit that one of you appeared in the day I was taking class pictures that was epic and will take a while to forget. To your parents, I would like to say thank you for all your support over the last five years. It has been a pleasure and I can honestly say that any parent I've met over the last few years has only wanted the very best for their sons. I know some of you are really anxious in relation to upcoming exams in the current climate. There will be students who get top marks, which is great and very well deserved. But remember, one exam or a low mark will not take away your son's dreams and talents. Remember, difficult journeys often lead to beautiful destinations. There's a big world out there with plenty of opportunities and what's for you won't pass you by. So finally, on my own behalf as your year head and on behalf of all the teachers, staff and management in CBS, I would like to wish you the best of luck for the future. Be safe, be sensible and be proud of your achievements in finishing school. I for one will not forget this group of students. Another teacher once said to me, if I meet an ex-student on the street and they stop for a chat, then I know I've done a good job I can be proud of. This is so true and we are all proud of you here today. So don't be a stranger to the school and look forward with positivity, excitement and confidence to starting the next phase of your life. So best of luck boys, good luck. Take that jump, you don't feel the fall Hope when the water rises, you build a wall Hope when the crowd screams out, you're screaming your name Hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad
Thank you. 